welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a first impression tutorial thing using some new ColourPop products. I used some of their face powders, I tried out their concealers, and I used their new ColourPop palette in the sh... in... Uh. And I used the ColourPop... Uh, and I use the Yes Please palette as well as some of their summer single eyeshadows. So yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys what I got and uh, show you how they are in action. I liked it. I liked everything. So if you want to see that, keep watching. And they're so sweet. They were late and they sent me this little mini lipstick that I already had. But I love it and I'm so glad I have a baby size one now because it's so cute. Look at it. Uh. So if you guys want to see this makeup look and find out what I thought of the products as I was trying them, just keep on watching. One of the items I purchased was the Yes Please palette and on the front it's really cute, it says cute AF. And inside we've got a lot of lovely shadows. If you guys are following me on Instagram, if you don't, go do it, Alexis Diana. I will link it down below. It's always linked down below. But I I got this not too long ago and I haven't used it because as soon as I got this I found out that they were coming out with the concealers and all that stuff and I was like, oh my god, I want to do a like first impression of all these new ColourPop products because I can make like a finally like a full look, you know what I mean? So that's why I waited to use this. I swatched it like a billion times because I was so excited, uh, but I haven't actually played with it on my eyes. It's got 12 shades, nice white packaging. It's like good packaging. I like it. It's cardboard, but it's like that, like hard cardboard. It's magnetic. It's got all the shade names on the back, and I also purchased the Summer Solstice Quad. So these shades are super, super beautiful. It comes in a package like this, and it's got a bunch of different colors in it. I'm going to show you them really, really quickly. My favorite one, hands down, is this one right here. This is Lightning Bug. It's such a beautiful shade. And then we've got this color right here. This is the shade Sundance. This is also a super beautiful color. Next, this is a matte. This is the shade Summerside. It's like a warm red brown. It's really, really pretty. And then we have the shade uh, Noontide. And this is like an, an ultra metallic, like bronze, like a deep brown color. It's so, so pretty. I love it. So I'm going to create a, an eye makeup look really quickly and we're going to just see how these shadows blend and all that good stuff. Okay, so I put concealer down on my eyes a while ago and it feels like it's pretty much set, but I'm going to set a little bit anyway. I'm going to use this color right here. This is full zip. I'm just going to brush it all over the lid and the brow bone area to set down any concealer that may be wet. Then I'm going to take the shade Big Cocktails. That's this color right here. It looks very pigmented. And I'm going to blend this into my crease. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, but like nothing too big and the colors are pretty pigmented. So next I'm going to take this shade right here. This is GNO and I'm going to use this to deepen up the outer portion of my crease a little bit. This color feels like the first shade, the, um, the shade Big Cocktails is like older sister. She's like a little bit darker, a little bit deeper, a little bit more pigmented, but super similar in tone. Alrighty then, now we're going to take this shade right here, this like red, and this is spoiled. I'm just using the same brush. I'm going to add this to my outer crease as well. I really like the way that these shades blend, and it, I feel like it looks like fire, like they're fire tones. They don't look um, as reddish or orangey in the pans, but like when they're on your eye, they're just like shades of fire and I love it. All right, now what we're going to do is take a little bit of this shade right here. This is French Kiss. We're going to add this just like ever so slightly to the outer part of our eye. Just like deepen it up a bit. I used the wrong brush, so I'm going to go back in and blend it in a second, but this one's just like placing the product. You guys, I'm really, really feeling these eyeshadows. I'm so happy that they didn't like not meet my expectations because I feel like I've been so excited to try this palette and I've had it for so long that I've just been like <laughs> I'm gonna just take a tiny bit more of this red color right here 
this is spoiled. Just add a tiny bit more back into this, this brown area. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this color right here. Again, this is Lightning Bug. This is so beautiful. And I'm gonna use an e.l.f. flat shader brush. I might have to apply it with my finger. Usually I apply ColourPop shadows with my finger, but because I want to get it like a little bit precise right now, I'm trying to use a brush. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to take it and put it right in like the white spot right here. Yeah, I need my finger. Nothing applies ColourPop like your finger does. So now I'm going back into this pot. I'm taking a little bit of Champs just because it's like peachy. It's this peach shade right here. And it's still in that family of tones. I'm going to use this just to kind of smooth out the edges where like my finger, you know, hit the glitter up onto my crease. Just lightly smoothen that out. And then I like to just tap out the area where it meets the other shadows. You guys can use a brush to tap it out if you want. And that is some fun looking eyeshadow if you don't ask me. I'm going to apply a coat of mascara and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my skin and I'm gonna start off by priming my face with just a little bit of coconut water. I just like to use sprays. I got two of them. I got these two shades because I figured I would try to do a little bit of contouring with one of them just just for fun. So I'm going to go in with the shade Fair Neutral and I've never used this before so I don't know how pigmented it's going to be but it looked pretty pigmented when I watched some videos online so I'm not going to apply too much. It might be too light for me so we'll see. Hopefully that's not too much. I'm going to go in and blend my under eye area first because I don't know how quickly it dries. Normally I would apply it just like everywhere. but So that is very, very brightening. Um, it might even be like too brightening for me right now. I don't know. I guess my face just looks really good right there. Like I feel like when you look at it in the camera, like I look super like flawless. I'm impressed. I'm going to put some on my chin. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. So if I could buy another shade, I'd probably buy one shade up um, for now because I'm tan. But in the, in the winter, I feel like this color is going to be perfect for me. And now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is the shade Deep Tan. I'm going to try and contour with it. You don't know how it's going to work. It's my first time trying it. I don't even know if it's the right color. So I'm just going to take this. And again, this is the shade Deep Tan deep tan. To be honest, I probably shouldn't have got anything called deep tan. Like, are you looking at me? If I can wear, like, one of the lightest shades in the collection, I probably shouldn't be able to wear one of the darkest. That's way too much. I'm gonna tell you right now, I put way too much in my face. I'm gonna regret this. I don't know how I feel. I feel like I applied it not, not in the correct spot. And, like, I blended it down instead of up is how I feel. Let's try this out of my face. Put a little bit less. Blend up. Okay, now that, that is what I was going for. We're going to fix this. Put a little bit up here. Right, because that's, that's where my contour is. Not down here. I don't know what I was thinking. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the light concealer. I'm going to run it here. That's also probably too much. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I'm going to blend this down to kind of clean up the giant mess I made. So, my thoughts on the contouring. It's really not a bad product to contour with at all, and I don't think it's too bad of a shade for me. Definitely when I become, like, pale again, it's not going to work out for me too well. It's going to be way too dark. This is definitely a good contour shade for me. Some of my forehead. Um, and it blends out really, really easy. It blends out better than a lot of, like, liquid or cream contour products that I own. And I think that's just because it's like a concealer. I don't know. But I feel like this contour is looking bomb right now. Alright. Made have made some mistakes on my nose. This always happens with my nose contour because my nose is ugly. Crooked AF. But you know what? That's, that's going to have to be fine. <sighs> So first of all, first things first, I really like the concealers. I think they have really, really good coverage. They blend out very easily. They don't dry too quickly, and I enjoy their wands. They're very bendy. Can you see how bendy they are? Which I really like. It allows you to get, like, right in there. Now, I think in terms of my contour and highlight, um, I don't think it would look as bad if... 
I didn't have like such an extreme pale shade and such a dark shade. Like I think if they were closer, if you looked at the range of colors, this is like the second one and this is like the second to last one or like third to last one. So they're very, very opposite spectrums of tones. So I feel like if they weren't so far away from each other and if I had got a darker one of these concealers that it would look really really good but looking at my face right now I don't think like oh wow your concealer's too dark or your concealer's too light because I am going to go in and use a little bit of powder bronzer um, which I always do over a liquid concealer or cream concealer anyway so we're going to go ahead and do that and finish the rest of our face but honestly looking at my face in the camera I'm not like oh wow that looks terrible I don't think it looks that bad okay so these are the two face powders that ColourPop well, that I bought from ColourPop. They came out with a bunch more, but they came out with highlights and bronzers. So the one thing that I'm not a big fan of is that they don't have the names on the packages. And I know that's because you can pop these little guys out. And this one is S'il vous plaît. This is the highlighter. And this one is, it doesn't say on the little, like, um, you can pop this, this guy out. And it says on the back, but this one doesn't have a label on it. Um, so this is Private Party. It's my bronzer. It's a pretty good size pan. And when you compare it to like a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, it's it's a good pan size. Not too expensive. Almost dropped that. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and use a big fluffy brush to apply this like I normally would on like an everyday basis. I'm just going to swirl my brush in here top of any excess and I know this is a light bronzer I swatched it and it, it look at my my, my vanity is a disaster <laughs> I swatched this color and it was kind of light it was kind of light so there's that you guys I love this this is why I love light bronzers and this is why I love ColourPop they honestly just never suck a little bit on the nose the chin this area right here my turkey neck this bronzer might be my favorite part of the whole thing. Okay. All right, and now we're going to use the highlighter again. This is the shade S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Do you like my French? That was, that was a terrible French accent. I apologize. So here's the color. It's super white. I kind of wish I had bought something that was a little bit more golden, like looking at the rest of my face right now. But whatever, we're going to go with it. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush, as always. I'm going to pop it right here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> ah, I love highlighters so much. And I love this one so much, and I feel like I look like a moron. Cause I'm being being a hundred percent honest with you. Like my concealer's too light, my liquid contour is too dark. <laughs> I, I'm a mess, but it's fine. Like my my eyes are warm toned, and my can, my highlight is super cool toned. But you guys, I'm just feeling it. Okay, so this this highlighter is um, more glittery than than average, but I don't think it looks bad. Like, I feel like my highlight looks on point right now. All right, and the last item we're gonna use, this isn't a new product by any means. None of the lipsticks were really screaming to me when I was on the website, and I have so many lipsticks already, I was like, don't worry about it. But my package was two weeks late, as I said, so they sent me this little baby cookie lipstick. It's a mini, I already own cookie, I love cookie, and I swatched this because I get a lipstick and I have to immediately swatch it, even if it's something I already own, and I loved this. I remember loving it before, but I just, I don't know. This is a matte, I believe. It doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty positive. It's just like a regular matte, not a matte X. It's a really pretty like nude with a pinky, peachy undertone to it. And I love this size for like my purse. Ooh. And you know, I was going to be done, but I think I want to add a tiny bit of color under my eyes. Just for fun. I don't want to do anything like too crazy or too dark under my eyes, but I'm going to take this pink this is champs it's peach sorry this one right here i'm gonna run that under my eyes then i'm gonna take the shade gno i'm gonna add that and then i'm gonna take this shade right here this is i believe is spoiled this red right here and i'm gonna add this to the outer part as well and that completes this makeup look you guys i hope that you guys liked it if you did please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up my name is alexis and i'll see you next time Bye.